Good evening and welcome to another episode of Unscripted and Unchained RPG Review. I am DM Bloodworth and as you can see by the graphics, uh, today is going to be the first installment of my uh, celebration of Sumerian September 2024. And uh, very apropos is to start off with the first poem found in the Coming of Conan, the Sumerian, by Robert E. Howard. And that is going to be the focus of this video series for the entire month of September, is to focus on Robert E. Howard's original writings as they were, you know, as they were written uh, back in the day, and, um, and to follow them uh, very faithfully and, uh, and to give you the context of, of perhaps when they were written and uh, some of Robert E. Howard's own insight into what inspired them uh, for the most part. And I found that these Delray books, uh, you know, this Delray book series, there's three of them, uh, really does capture, um, really does capture the, uh, the thoughts behind, uh, Robert E. Howard's thoughts behind many of uh, his short stories and You'll also see fragments and uh, and in and even first drafts of then later on completed short stories or novellas or even full length novels. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to jump right into Samaria. So I'm going to begin right here where Robert E. Howard talks about the inspiration for the poem Samaria. Written in Mission, Texas, February 1932, suggested by the memory of the hill country above Friedrichsburg, seen in a mist of winter rain, by Robert E. Howard. Samaria. <coughs> I will try to read this as effectively as I possibly can. Uh, I'm not really a public speaker and certainly not a public reader. So let me uh, just pause for a second. Okay. Samaria. I remember the dark woods masking slopes of somber hills. The gray clouds let in everlasting arch. The dusky streams that flowed without a sound and the lone winds that whispered down the passes. Vista on vista marching hills on hills. Slope beyond slope, each dark with sullen trees, our gaunt land lay. So when a man climbed up a rugged peak and gazed, his shaded eye saw but the endless vista, hill on hill, slope beyond slope, each hooded like its brothers. It was a gloomy land and seemed to, that seemed to hold all winds and clouds and dreams that shun the sun. With bare bows rattling in the lonesome winds and the dark woodlands brooding over all, not even lightened by the rare dim sun, which made squat shadows out of men they called it Samaria, land of darkness and deep night. It was so long ago and far away, I have forgot the very name men called me. The axe and flint-tipped spear are like a dream, and haunts and wars are shadows. I recall only the stillness of that somber land, the clouds that piled forever on the hills, the dimness of the everlasting woods, Samaria, land of darkness and the night. O oh, soul of mine, born out of shadowed hills, to clouds and winds and ghosts that shun the sun, how many deaths shall serve to break at last this heritage 
which wraps me in the gray, apparel of ghosts. I search my heart and find Samaria, a land of darkness and the night. So there you have the first installment, the poem Samaria, uh, September 1st, Sumerian September 2004, 2024, sorry. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I will make one amendment where I said haunt and it should have been hunts. So and hunts and wars are shadows. So uh, as I said, I'm not going to redo the whole thing for one word, but uh, I will be a little bit more um, precise the next time, maybe slow it down a little bit. But I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I hope that you continue to follow the, um, you know, every day I'm going to put up a new post. It'll be a response to uh, either a short story or poem that I had read that day. Um, for the longer passages, as I said in the intro of this uh, series of videos, um, for the longer either novellas or, or even, no um, well, the novels are going to kind of put those off until a later time, uh, although I might segment them over the course of several days. But those I will utilize the audiobook, especially when I am commuting back and forth from work. Uh, it'll be easier for me to get those done. And then I'll just give you a, um, a synopsis of uh, the, the novella or the novel uh, that I'm listening to. But for this first time doing this, uh, I will try to stick to the short stories, um, which there are certainly more than 30 of them. So I should have this first uh, September uh, for me covered. Uh, and then we'll see where I go next year with it. But, uh, you know, great thanks to those that kind of pointed me to this. And, uh, and so, uh, and you can, again, check in that first video uh, that, um, that you'll see in this series where I acknowledge them and, uh, and put that out for you. So thanks for joining. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please remember to like and subscribe and to comment. And uh, if you're also participating in Sumerian September, uh, please let me know and let me know how your, you know, what your take is on this as well. I think I'm going to be much more excited to do this than I was with RPG a day uh, because this is really something, you know, as you can see behind me, I am a huge Robert E. Howard and Conan fan. And so, uh, you know, to have this opportunity to spend the next month sharing the two with you is something that's really right up my alley. So um, if you subscribe, hit the alert button so you will be alerted as to each new upload at the same time I will still be doing my shelf tour and so you can follow that and I'll do those with a video short uh, that uh, is attached to the um, the long form uh, videos that might already be archived on my channel uh, and then I will also do some gaming content as I continue my um, my going through various game systems uh, and uh, and talking about the elements that make up those game systems and why I like them so much. So September, I really do intend to be a heavy content month uh, with all of these different little features that are going to be on the channel. And um, uh, with, with any luck, uh, this will lead me right into ShireCon, which is the next convention that I am attending September 27th and 28th. And um, I will be running some Shadow Dark set in the Hyborian Age. So a real good connection to uh, Sumerian September and uh, really excited about that. So uh, as always, thanks for joining. I hope you enjoyed this video. Enjoy the rest of your uh, holiday weekend if you do celebrate Labor Day. And um, as always, I look forward to seeing you on the gaming screen or at a convention sometime soon. You all have a great rest of your evening. Take care.